say hi everybody <laughs> hey everybody so this is baby Jay and um, he has some things going on and he wants to make some videos huh <laughs> no you know what I actually thought I wanted to start making a couple videos maybe there's gonna be people out there that can relate uh, but this little one is 10 months old and he has some issues as far as um, he needs uh, some therapies. He has occupational therapy, he has physical therapy, um, and I just figured if these videos might help somebody and then maybe I can get some tips to help him in return. So I just wanted to document some things that we go through on a daily basis. Um, to start off, he has something called a mild laryngeal cleft. Um, they can be different severities and um, he also has torticollis. He has pretty severe torticollis. He has also, oh, ignore mommy. <laughs> he has also worn uh, a helmet for plagiocephaly and brachiocephaly, if I'm saying that correctly. Oh, no, where are you going? So he has some things going on. He also has acid reflux. Um, he also has a milk intolerance where he has to have special formula so I just wanted to um, you know like I said document things not and, and let me tell you this too where are you at everybody's baby is different so I'm sure what one baby gets in therapy might be different than another baby I mean all things are unique to the individual baby and I mean that goes with people too right so there's so many things to say. I don't even know where to begin, literally. Like, what? where are you going? Hey, get back here. <laughs> Basically, um, I had a pretty rough pregnancy. Um, I'm gonna actually turn this around to have it be on him. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You don't want to see me in the camera, trust me. He's much better. <laughs> He's much better to look at than me. Um, so I had a pretty rough pregnancy. Um, I'm over 35, so I'm considered advanced maternal age, so that was already a factor. And then um, I did get gestational diabetes pretty early on. And um, later on, I think in week, yeah, week 35 of my pregnancy, I ended up getting preeclampsia. Um, which I think used to be called toxemia. Um, now, let me tell you, I was on progesterone injections from week 16 because I have another one who um, I had pee prom with. My water broke at week 33 and 6. And then um, I got induced and I had my daughter the next day. So anyways, since my daughter was a preemie and she had to stay in the NICU and everything, um, it was fine now, but it was kind of rough at the beginning. I know some people have it way, way worse, so I'm, I'm very, oh, there he goes, <laughs> thankful um, for my daughter and her health. But, so this one, they were being, you know, cautious, and then I got basically the progesterone injections in my butt slash hip area hey come back here every single week like clockwork from week 16 to 36 um so that was fun it really hurt let me just and i'm not afraid of needles i think i have a decent pain tolerance hey hi and um it hurt it did it hurt but was it worth it absolutely did it make my water not break? Uh, my water did not break like it broke in the first pregnancy. So yeah, what they actually told me was um, it makes you, for the progesterone shots, it makes you not go into preterm labor, or I'm sorry, it helps you not to go into preterm labor. It's not 100% effective. Um, but I didn't go into preterm labor with my first. My water just broke. I was not in labor. They actually put me in labor to have my daughter at 34 weeks exactly um, because they said that the risk of infection to her or I was greater and it was better just to have her because she was far enough along so 
anyways um, I don't know if the shots is why my water didn't break with him or maybe I would have went into labor early. I mean it's really hard to tell it's kind of like did, did it work I mean like I said my water did not break and I did not go into preterm labor so it was worth it I mean if there was any chance at all to help help him along so I just want this to kind of be a little intro there's so much to say um, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin oh by the way so this one he loves 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 crawling on hard surfaces I think he may have some sensory components going on his sister did but um yeah he has a binky passy whatever you want to call it it's actually part of his therapy some people say it's six months to take the binky away this is part of his therapy I can already hear <laughs> comments oh you shouldn't have a binky um when he was born when he was real young he actually did not hi he did not even like a binky he didn't want to take it there was a lot of coaxing to get him to like the binky now he loves it and again it's part of his therapy his occupational therapist who um, does his feeding therapy every week um, says yes keep a binky because um, with my son's uh, condition the laryngeal cleft he aspirates um, he he keeps saliva just pulling in his mouth he doesn't swallow properly um, oh also he has a floppy airway so he doesn't swallow properly and then with the little laryngeal cleft, which they call mild divot because his is a really mild case. And we got surgery. That'll be another video later on. Um, but yeah, like it, he just was always aspirating his own saliva, all of his formula because he doesn't eat any baby food. We're trying it for feeding therapy, but all of his formula has to be thickened to um, a nectar thick consistency he can't drink water because the only thing we're allowed to thicken it with is baby oatmeal at this time because he's not one yet so I just there's a lot going on and I know there's other people out there I'm part of some Facebook groups with lots of people that have actually given me a lot of information but this is just our little journey this is just our little intro video so please share this if you think it's going to help somebody subscribe and um, you can follow our journey we are actually going to be on our way to physical therapy if I didn't mention it earlier in the video he has occupational therapy feeding therapy every week and then he has uh, he loves the mud and dirt by the way <laughs> and he has physical therapy every week so um, yep we're actually going to be on our way here soon to go to that and um, yeah so thanks for watching. We're going to put out videos often about this little guy and what we're doing to help him. Can you say bye, baby Jay? Hey, can you say bye? Say bye. <laughs> All right. See you soon.